What is up, guys and gals? It's me, Thomas Channel One here, and today, um, I'm actually really excited. I got a good one for you guys today. Um, it's an oldie, but it, well, it's not old, but it's it's a good one. It's a really good figure today. Um, I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited that I get to do this because it's part. It, this one was part of the Transformer. You know what? I'm gonna just skip the. I'm just gonna skip the pleasantries. You guys probably know what it is by the title. Voyager Class Shockwave. Uh, Dark of the Moon, Voyager Glass Shockwave. Now, um, this character is part of Megatron's henchmen. Um, well, not per se henchmen, but, I mean, pretty good. I mean, Shockwave was originally a gun, and he was more, he was more of like a turret, I suppose. He was more like a Cybertronian turret. They made him a Cybertronian tank in toy form. He didn't transform in the movie. So, I'm not really going to worry too much about it, so, yeah, I mean, if I can see Shockwave as being a tank. I can totally see him as being a tank. I mean, you know, not, not, it's not that, not that bad. I mean, when I first picked this toy up, I thought it was going to be horrible, but it actually turned out to be pretty darn good. So, um, for his, uh, for tank mode, he does come with a couple accessories, and uh, this I will pull off because it's so easy to get this thing. It's so much easier when you to transform this guy without his gun. Other than that, he just looks like a plain old something something. But um, for the gun, it does come with this hose. It is removable. It is removable, and it can be easily put back in place. You can put it back in place. There's two ports. You can put it back in place here, or you can put it back in place on this posable hinge right here. Take it. Just plug it in. I don't really want to. Um, but for the gun, um, mech tech was, was a thing. You push this back and two more barrels come out and you can lock this in place. I, I don't know why this is, this was ever a thing, but I suppose it was okay. I mean, he didn't have this, he had his gun in the movie, but he didn't have it in the video game. He didn't have the mech tech piece in the video game or the movie, so why they incorporated it into the toy we'll never know so anyways yeah uh voyager class shockwave um it's a pretty cool figure i mean the purple doesn't bother me it really doesn't i mean it might bother some people but it doesn't really bother me that much um it, it doesn't really bother me because it just it's shockwave he was purple what 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 more do you what more do you want you know so anyways we're gonna bend the camera down here so you guys can look at my crotch but we're actually just going to transform this figure. So, to transform the figure, I mean, the first thing you're going to really want to do is take this... What are you doing here? Get back over there. But, um... Now, to transform him, you are going to want to take the gun off, and you are going to want to take the hose off as well. So, we're going to take... We, we took him off, we're going to put him to the side. That comes in later. Now, to transform him, what you're going to want to do, first thing, is you're going to want to take these arms, and they don't really t peg in anywhere. They're just kind of friction. Oh, they do have a tab. Right here on the arm, right here... It goes right into the, there's a slot right here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a slot that goes right there. There's a tab. Peg it in. But un undo the arms, bring them out, rotate them, and fold them down underneath the, uh, underneath the treads here. And then do the same on the other side, rotate it, bring it down, all that fun stuff. And then it pretty much just, uh, just exposes his chest. I mean, this piece, it... I mean, it might bother some people, but it really doesn't bother me. So, then you're going to want to take this chest piece, untab it from the from the wheels here, from, or actually, no, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to take the, uh, this and untab this, this piece from here, from this, this, untab this tread from this tread, and then it's got tabs under here, and it does tab into this funky little wheel piece here. So, you're going to want to take it, untab it. And then you're going to want to undo this. And to undo this, you just bend it forward. Just pretty simple. Then you're going to want to come and take this, fold it out, rotate it, make sure it clicks out one, make sure the ratchet joints click out one click. That's important. Then you're going to want to do the same thing on the other side. Do that. Do this. Rotate it out. Pull it out one click. Then come and pull this out. Pull this out. Fold the chest piece in. And then 
shove the chest pegs up in up into the ports that you saw on the treads and there you have pretty much a robot with a scrotum sorry I'm I know I'm really not following the family-friendly line of my videos but hey then you're gonna want to take the foot untab it tabs in really securely do that come out flip out the heel spur and fold up the knee pad do the same on the other side untap it foot about the heel spur up the knee pad all that fun stuff then you're going to want to take the hands flip them out or unfold them i suppose more like and then here's where things begin to become a little tricky now his head is behind this now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rotate it but you're going to want to hold his head while you rotate this whole section back so it looks like this I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. So it looks like this. You got the wheels in the back here. Then you're going to want to come, bring it up, and there is a tab section right here that's going to tab right into that fake chest, and make sure you hear that click into place. Then you're going to want to take these, hinge them back, and these two pieces here that tabbed into um, this, you're going to want to make sure they tab right into this wheel well here, and this wheel well is very tricky to get it get into so just make sure that all this taps in just perfectly and you're left with a really beautiful looking backpack I really think this is a beautiful looking backpack I know many people were turned off by it but it's still a beautiful looking backpack and if you followed all my steps correctly you should be left with robot mode Voyager shockwave now to bring everything back up so we're not looking down at my crotch anymore um, the gun um, you're going to want to take this, the hose, peg it into the adjustable one so it'll just, so you know, it can just do that. Um, and then what you're going to want to do, it only pegs into one arm. And this arm right here, it's got a tab and it's got a slot right up here. This arm has just, has just this. Has just the, the peg and something else for something I don't even know what it is. So then you're going to want to take this plug it into his arm and this one can be it, it's not really that tricky take it plug it into his arm pretty much simple um, then you're gonna want to take this hose and he has these ports on the back of his shoulders that I like to plug them into but you can plug them in pretty much anywhere else you really if you really want to I mean you know you can just you know maybe you could just plug it into the plug it in here so it looks like it's got a it's a gun with a hose but I like to plug it into his back or his, yeah, his shoulder, because it looks boss as all get out, so. I like to leave his hand out as well, because it looks really nice. Um, lots of people like to fold it in, because it's more screen accurate, but I just feel like it just made it just a little too bulky. So, I flip out the hand. Now he's got his hand with, with a gun on top of it. It makes me feel like more, it makes me feel like he's a more accurate Megatron, almost. So, for comparison, here he is with Revenge of the Fallen RZ. Pretty simple. And here he is with Last Night Leader Class Megatron. Pretty simple. And just for the heck of it, because it's over here, here he is with the 2007 movie Black Recon Bumblebee. Towers over him. This, this guy towers over this guy. But, so yeah. Um, all in all, good figure. Um, not perfect by any means, but hey, they did go that extra mile for movie authentic authenticity with the chest that made it look like, you know, how it did in the movie. Um, I'm really glad they made him purple because he was purple in the G1 cartoon. And I really screwed up the tube on here. Because it fell off, and I'm really not happy with that. There we go, there's that one. Then take this one and plug it in there. Plug it in there, and then plug it into the shoulder. That's better. That's better. But yeah, all in all, good figure. Um, you can add this to the to your Dark of the Moon collection if you really want to. Um, you're probably going to pay a pretty penny for this guy if you want to buy him brand new, but it, like I said in my, like I say in all my videos, you can check. Um, actually, you can find this guy at Big Bad Toy Store. Um, they are having a sale on, uh, no, 
not Big Bad Toy Store, A3U. That's what I'm thinking of. You can get this guy at A3U because they're having the the Japanese Takara Tomy movie, The Best Line. Um, they have that coming. Up, they have that that's coming out with lots of characters, and this guy being one of them. He has more movie accurate colors and all that fun stuff. But um, I, I know I, I like this version just the way it is. Um, he there were three sets that he came in. He came just as a single Voyager. He came in with a Bumblebee, um, Optimus Prime, and this guy, and a Shockwave. It, I think it was, um, Downtown Brawl or something like that. Um, look that up if you really want. I don't know which set it was called, but it came with Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and Shockwave, this guy. And he had more screen accurate colors. He was more, it was just more gray plastic than purple, but I like the purple. It looks nice. And then they have the movie The Best Line with the accurate colors now. So, yeah, I mean, all in all, good figure. Not perfect, but I'd say if I had to rate it, I'd give it a 8.5 out of 10. They were really going for it. I mean, the only thing that really kind of... That we didn't see in the movie was the backpack. But then again, I'm not going to complain. So, but yeah, all in all, good figure. Um, he had the... Um, I don't know if anybody can actually see this. I'm not. I'm not trying to blind everybody, but uh, he does have some light piping. I don't know if I can if I can get this right. Not if I can get this going. He has some good light piping. Um, good light piping going on there. Good light piping. He has light piping on his head. Lots of the Transformers figures uh, from way back when had the light piping, just so they made it look like their eyes were glowing and all that fun stuff, but. The Transformers now, they don't have that, um, not at all. It's just stupid, but then again, light piping was amazing. But, so, so yeah, um, you can check, for this guy, you can also check out, uh, you can check Big Bad Toy Store, not, there is no guarantee that they have it, uh, you can also check out, um, you can also check out eBay, Amazon, all those two other, those two other places, um, you can also check out Lunar Toy Store. There's no guarantee that they have that as well. Um, and check your local thrift stores if you really, if you're that desperate, go check your local thrift stores. Um, there's no guarantee they have them, like I say, and like I said in the last video. There's no guarantee that a thrift store, or maybe I didn't say it in, no, I didn't say that in the last video. I said it in the video before last, but, and I said in a previous video, um, there's no guarantee that a thrift store will have this um, because I I found this one at a thrift store, but there is no guarantee that they will have it because it's it's a transformer. They're pretty freaking popular. I don't know what that was. Oh, I think my light bulb just went out. Oh man. But there's no guarantee that they will have your Voyager class shockwave there. So hey, if that's what, if you're willing to spend close to fifty bucks on this Voyager class figure, go for it. If you're not. Not gonna, don't cry. No, I'm not gonna cry about it. But still, good Dark of the Moon figure. Anyways, this is Thomas Final One saying, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Don't forget to leave a comment down below about what you think about the next, about what you want for the next review. And don't forget to leave a subscribe on Ice Star Five Five Two and Take Along Productions. I know they're working on stuff that is gonna be great. I know, I know, I'm gonna be working with Ice Star Five Five Two later on today. Um, he and I are actually working on a couple video ideas that we're going to do together, so, you know, just keep in mind, or keep your ears and eyes out for it, so, um, so yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and peace.